Good morning, Year 5. This is the second video regarding direct speech and how to use the correct punctuation with direct speech. You can see straight away that we're saying quotation marks. This is exactly the same. It means exactly the same as speech marks. So we know how to use the speech marks. We're going to be looking at how we're going to punctuate after the spoken words. So the punctuation, there are two places where other forms of punctuation are needed when writing direct speech. In our sentence, what's the matter, said Sid. In the first box, it says you need to end the speaking with either a comma, a question mark if it's a question, or an exclamation mark if it's an exclamation. The second box to the side of it says you will need to finish your sentence with a period after the reporting clause. Now remember that a reporting clause is just the clause, the few words, which says who is speaking. So in our example, said, Sid, is the reporting clause. Then we need to finish it with a full stop. Examples of other punctuation in direct speech using the exclamation mark first. How exciting it is, exclaimed Sarah, full stop. I don't know what to do, comma, said Saeed. Now, a little bit more information about the reporting clauses. After the speech itself, a reporting clause gives a little bit of information about who is speaking and how it was said. So again, in our example here, what's the matter, said Sid. Our reporting clause is said Sid. It's telling us that Sid is speaking. He is actually saying, what's the matter? If Sid said it in a different way, you could change said to what's the matter? Asked Sid. What's the matter? Whispered Sid. What's the matter? Uttered Sid. What's the matter? Shouted Sid. So we're using different words in our reporting clause there. They're all questions. It's the same question, but using different words. Okay, now it's your turn. Here is a conversation between Anna and her son, Sam. Write the direct speech on a piece of paper or in your workbook using speech marks and the correct punctuation. So as you can see there in the speech bubble, it says, Sam, can you come and help me with an email? So remember, think about who is saying those words before you write the sentence with the speech marks in. Also, add in the reporting clause. And another one that you can practice with, here is a conversation between Mr. Miller on the left and Max, who is on the right. Write the direct speech on a piece of paper or in your workbook using speech marks and the correct punctuation. Where more than one person is talking, so in our case there are two, we've got Max and Mr Miller, remember to start a new line for each new speaker. So every time somebody different speaks, you start that speech on a new line. And another one a little bit more trickier because there are three people speaking this time. Write the direct speech on a piece of paper or in your workbook using speech marks and the correct punctuation. And remember, new speaker, new line. And here's some example answers from what you've just done. So have a look at these, compare them to yours. 
It does not matter if you've used said, asked, exclaimed or any other reporting verb. Just don't forget to mix it up a bit in your work. So when you do your story, you are including direct speech. Try to use different verbs in your reporting clause. The same reporting clause, if you're using the same verb too many times, it can get boring. Okay, you probably remember these from a while back, everyone. If you want to have a go at these, and write some speech, you can do. Okay, below are all examples of incorrectly punctuated speech. Tell your partner why they are incorrect and correct them on your whiteboard. Obviously, we don't have our whiteboard with you, so that will be in your workbook or on a piece of paper. And your partner might be your mum, your dad, somebody in your family that lives with you in the house. Have a word with them, chat to them. If you haven't got anybody to talk to about it, have a go on your own. And here are the answers. Compare these answers to what you wrote down. And again, if you want to have a go now at writing some direct speech for the boys in the picture, that would be lovely. Write it in your workbook or on a piece of paper. And another example where you can write some speedy speech.
And the final picture, where you can write some conversation between the two parrots. Hopefully that will help and support your direct speech work when you're writing your story, everyone. Good luck and I'm looking forward to reading them. Don't forget to send them on our Year 5 Homework email account. Mr Bolland and I are really looking forward to reading them. Good luck, everyone.